We're my ethnic food lovers. This video is for you. So barbecue. Stay tuned to the end and watch everything you can about this barbecue place in Colorado Springs. It is a definite place to try. Hey guys, I'm James Dean, team leader of the James Dean Mountain Homes team. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Just really quick before we get into the meat of this video, I just wanted to make sure if you haven't done so already, hit that subscription button down below, hit that notification bell. That keeps you updated on all the new videos that we have coming out weekly. Uh, and we've got several that come out each week um, on this channel, so please, please stay up to date with that. Also, if you've got any questions whatsoever that are real estate related or just in the community, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and give us a call. You can either call us at 719-266-2725 Five. You can text us to that number as well, or you can email us at info at jdmret.net. Please, whatever you got to do to get those questions to us, please ask. We're here to help. We're here to provide value to you and helping you make informed decisions, whether you're looking to buy or sell real estate or just typical questions for the community out here. We are local experts of this area and we love this area. So please, please, please reach out to us and we hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, everybody. I know I don't do a whole lot of things a lot of times down in the Colorado Springs area, but we are talking about the Colorado Springs area today. This is one of my wife and my favorite places to go when we're down there. We call it our beef and leaf place. And if you've ever been stationed in South Korea, if you've ever even traveled to South Korea, you will know exactly what we're talking about. Now the GIs that are over there, so all the, the military personnel that get stationed over there, and I had a chance to get stationed there for a year and I absolutely loved it. We all call it beef and leaf, but really it's Korean barbecue is what it really is. Some of you will recognize this is looking a little bit like a hibachi style uh, with a sit down where you've got your own cook in front of you, not the, with the chef or anybody else in front of you with that, but it's this is like your own style. Of it. It's kind of similar to that with a Japanese style cuisine. But this is the Korean version of it. And if you've never tried it, I absolutely challenge you. You need to get out there and give this a try. Seoul Barbecue is the name of this restaurant. It is specifically down in the Briargate Promenade area and it's kind of back tucked away in the corner. Um, it's a place that if you get the option to do a reservation, you definitely want to. Most of the tables will only max out at about four. So if you got a party bigger than that, uh, they do have a couple six tops, but not very many. I think it's two is all they have. Everything else is four seaters out there and the table is gonna be loaded with food and it is a community style dining event with whoever you go there to eat with, uh, with that are at your table. So you can see here in some of my photos too, this is the last Last time my wife and I went down there, we love getting the short rib. Uh, it's a beef short rib uh, that comes out that's marinated. It's the galbi. That is the one that we like because it's all rolled up around the bone and we just kind of cut it off as it goes and cook it right there in front of us. But before we even get to the best part, which is that on um, there, you sit down and it can be kind of intimidating and I know and understand that. This is a very different style of eating that you've probably never had the opportunity to do before. The waiters and waitresses there are phenomenal with helping to walk you through this process and there's other options other than doing the Korean style barbecue if you want like a bibimbap or a soup they've got those options too but quite honestly I've never tried anything else because their sole barbecue their Korean barbecue is fantastic and that is one of the few places in the Colorado Springs area that I've ever found that has it and has it to this quality as well now when you start ordering your food just know that a lot of the barbecue style foods you're gonna to wanna to order maybe one or two, depending on how many people are there, but one order is quite enough to fix or to, to, to feed two people. When we go there with four, we usually just order two of the main things on there as well, just to kind of give you an idea of how much food actually comes out. Now. One of my wife's my favorite things to do is to order their steamed dumplings. Fortunately, their dumpling maker, because they do hand make those steamed dumplings, was having issues, so we couldn't get them this last time, but that's one of our favorite appetizers to get down there while we're waiting for everything else to come out. And then they'll come out with all the kimchi sides as well, and they'll, they'll literally line those around the edges. Now, if you don't like fish, that's fine. My wife doesn't like fish. She does like some of the kimchi style sides that are out there, like the sweet potatoes with sesame seed oil on there. That's, that is something that she loves. You'll get a, a traditional 
kale style kimchi, you'll get a cucumber style kimchi a lot of times, bean sprouts. It depends on what they have and what's fresh made. This is one of the awesome things about Korean style food is that if it's authentic, it's all extremely fresh and it's all extremely good, which is one of the reasons why we love it so much. My wife came out to visit me when I was stationed in, in uh, South Korea for about a year. She came out for a little over a week and we did nothing but eat Korean food the whole time. She thought she was gonna gain weight. She actually lost weight because of how clean and how healthy and how fresh everything is out there too. So as you order these, and like I said, we prefer doing the, the beef short ribs that are marinated because they come out tasting amazing. We'll start getting into to a little bit of why we call this the beef and leaf. So they'll have all kinds of different sauces they bring out for you. You've got all the different sides. They'll bring out a, uh, a bowl of, of steamed rice for each person also, and then you'll get a little basket of leaves with that too. And the idea is, is to eat all of this stuff together. So what I like to do a lot of times is we'll cut up the galbi into smaller pieces. So as we're grilling it, we're cooking it right in front of us. We're the ones that are flipping it and taking care of it. We're pulling it out and everybody's getting a chance to pull their pieces of meat out. And we'll mix that with some rice. We'll roll it up in some of that lettuce and put some of that sauce on it. If you grilled one of the onions or the bell peppers that they have out there or the, or the mushrooms, you could throw that on there with it too. On there and you get a chance to just really enjoy this family style eating that is a very authentic Korean style of eating that's incredible. So once again, if you haven't had a chance to give this place a try or a place like this, I can't encourage you enough. If you know somebody that's been stationed in Korea, I guarantee you they will know what this is. So make sure you ask them, hey, what's beef and leaf? Is that something I should go and give a try, I promise you they're going to be like, yes, you absolutely have to go give that a shot because it's incredible. And they've got chicken and seafood, all kinds of stuff that they could throw out there. I'm just telling you what our favorites are, but it is an incredible dining experience and it is so much fun. So definitely give Soul Barbecue a try. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that video. And once again, before you sign off, make sure you hit that subscription button, that notification down, bell down below. That will keep you updated on all the new videos that we have come out that are here to inform you and help keep you updated on what's happening here, both in the community and in real estate as well. And once again, too, if you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call, 719-266-2725. You could text us at that number as well, or you can email us at info at jdmret.net, and we will get back to you as quickly as possible to answer all of those questions. We're here to serve you, and we look forward to helping you soon.